Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys. The archaeological local area was dazed when a group situated in southern Iraq reported a momentous track down one that stands to open the mysteries of perhaps of humankind's most significant old progress. Numerous specialists can't acknowledge this revelation at face esteem, essentially on the grounds that it appears to be unrealistic. In any case, it's the genuine article, an old sanctuary from the last Sumerian city of Gazoo. Specialists on Earth Day 4,500-year-old royal residence in Iraq, and it could hold the way into a lost development. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. Dr. Sebastian Bean was the individual driving the removal that uncovered the royal residence. However, in spite of this monitor's prominently amazing scholar and expert qualifications, a considerable lot of his companions found it challenging to truly take his cases. A few frightful allegations were even made against him, suggesting that he'd been lying about the entire thing. Following the revelation, Dr. Raitt went all over the planet to go to various gatherings. He attempted to persuade his kindred specialists of what he'd found. However, from the beginning, he essentially wasn't accepted. As he reviewed to the watchman, Everybody essentially let me know goodness, no, you're making it up. You're burning through your time. You're squandering English Exhibition Hall UK government financing. That is everything they were saying to me. It appears to be numerous specialists were hesitant to accept this royal residence, truly had been worked by the Sumerians in Gosu. All things considered, these individuals had a place with quite possibly of the earliest progress in mankind's set of experiences. How should a castle which was raised exactly quite a while back endure this long well? It had, and perhaps it can perceive us more about those puzzling individuals who fabricated it. The actual castle is clearly nothing to joke about for archaeologists and students of history by its own doing. Be that as it may, the structure likewise contains something staggeringly critical. Inside lay 200 or more tablets bearing cuneiform content. These sections, it appears, were records connecting with the organization of Old Gosu. They can assist specialists with figuring out the particular manners by which this civilization worked. Finding out about old developments is dependably an intriguing and essential undertaking, yet the Sumerians are a particularly significant case. These were individuals who spearheaded such countless innovations and thoughts that stay integral to contemporary life today. The developments of the Sumerians have had impossibly extensive impacts on the world as the millennia progressed. The Sumerians, as the name recommends, lived in a space called Sumer, which itself was essential for the more extensive district of Mesopotamia. It was arranged along the ripe sickle encased between the Euphrates and Tigris waterways. The Sumerians called this region of their own for a little under 2,000 years, before they were at last usurped by the Babylonians. Indeed, even in its earliest stages, individuals of Sumer were pushing limits. The primary gatherings of people to get comfortable the locale were the Ubaid, who showed up eventually between 4500 BC and 4000 BC. As well as creating inventive cultivating procedures, the Ubaid public were craftsmen, weavers, and potters. By around 3000 BC individuals we currently call the Sumerians had come to rule the locale. Their civilization comprised of a few city-states a specked around the area. For example, Slack Debris or Youngster and Uruk. This last one gloats to the number of inhabitants in somewhere in the range of 40,000 to 80,000. To the tight, which would have made it quite possibly of the greatest city on earth at that point, it was conceivably the greatest, Maybe with such countless personalities packed in such close metropolitan spaces interestingly, it shouldn't be amazing that such countless developments were made in Sumer. This really is where the world we perceive today started to arise. Composing codes of regulation, indispensable numerical arrangements, and new advances so much appears to have arisen here. He needed to dive more deeply into Gosu Dr. Beam is a piece of the staple undertaking which tries to find out about the old city and to safeguard it eventually. Past examinations of the site 
and many years gone past had been satisfactory by present-day norms. So as well as embraced completely new unearthings, the cooperative venture is returning to more seasoned ones to the Sumerian city of young ladies who has been known about for some time now. It was first found quite a while back. Specialists from France had a significant impact in the main adjusts of examinations of the site with an excavator named Ernest Azarzek, driving the primary uncovering there during the 1880s. More continued in the a long time from that point onward, the among the earliest disclosures to rise up out of these unearthings was something many refer to as the steel of the vultures. This is a landmark which traces all the way back to a period between 2600 BCE and 2350 BC, and it memorializes the victory of a Sumerian city-state called Lagash, which had beaten its neighbor and foe Yama and fight. This is the most established war landmark we are familiar today. The stele presents scenes of fight and strict importance carved into its limestone face. There are seven sections of the landmark altogether, yet its idea these were all essential for a solitary piece. Initially, they're displayed at the Louvre Exhibition Hall in Paris, France nowadays, which is quite far from home. French archaeologists working all through the 1920s and 30s likewise found one more design of extraordinary interest made of blocks. This development was around 11 feet tall, 130 feet long, and 33 feet in width. No one was quite certain what it was from the outset, with various individuals proposing it could have been a sanctuary, a water controller, or a dam. It truly was clear, which is the reason the design came to be known as the cryptic development that required numerous many years. However, the secret was in the long run addressed and by, as a matter of fact, Dr. Bean. By taking a gander at bird's eye symbolism of the construction and leading his own examination, he understood a trench had once sliced through the senior. With that clear, the cryptic development had really been the groundworks of a scaffold over the stream. While a scaffold is a useful design, it appears to be clear this one had a strict meaning of some kind or another. A portion of the stones utilized in its development their carvings on their countenances, portraying a god known as Ninja Su Father Etchings appear to reference Ern and Josu, who was the child of a ruler named Buta, who might ultimately prevail as father. Past the imagery of the scenes carved into it, the scaffold likewise had a pragmatic relationship with religion. It appears it would have been utilized by individuals partaking in journeys as it denoted an entry into the city's holy area. It would have been crossed by individuals during the different strict celebrations that occurred over time. As per Dr. Beam, the association with religion made sense of why the extension was so intricate. He told the Archaeological Establishment of America's distribution, prehistoric studies, that is the reason the scaffold was so fantastic. It had a similar importance as the sanctuary or a city entryway or a city wall. It was worked by a ruler and was intended to be noticeable in the scene. The scaffold was built something like a long time back, which spreads the word about it the most seasoned model on earth. It's a totally valuable thing then, at that point, which is the reason specialists are so determined to save it. Such a landmark recounts early human development, and it should be safeguarded. Towards the finish of WAC 2020 report began to arise about one more revelation that had as of late been made of the young ladies who archaeological site. This time, Everything focused on an area that appeared to have whenever been utilized for strict administrations. Every one of the bones were presumably from creatures either gobbled for the banquet or presented as penances. There were a scope of creature bones on the site. Cow, goat, sheep, deer, pig, bird, gazelle, and fish. One more fascinating element of the site was the layer of debris that covered it. This might have come from a major fire lit for ceremonial reasons. Somewhere else, hate vessels loaded up with spent ashes were additionally found. It's idea these things might have been lamps in their day. All things considered, whatever was happening here probably been a sufficiently bright issue. Taken together, this large number of disclosures pointed towards a certain something. Some kind of strict religion was dynamic at this spot. In an email to Live Science, Dr. Beam, and Dr. Greenfield made sense of their own considerations about the exhuming site. 
They think it was once connected to where celebrations occurred and were the number of inhabitants and young ladies who assembled to eat and respect their divine beings. The pair have proof to uphold that case as various tablets bearing cuneiform texts were uncovered at Gerst, who during the early unearthings that occurred there, these records framed such ceremonies and galas that used to happen nearby. They referenced one custom specifically, which was held at six month to month stretches and was committed to Ninja Su. The celebration went on for a few days, perhaps three or four, and covered a fair piece of ground. It includes a kind of strict procession, which would start in Gerson's center and advance past the city's limits. The marchers would then turn around and wrap up where they had begun. Individuals of young ladies who plainly made them entrance customs and convictions, however there's still such a lot of we don't have some familiarity with them. That is the reason each new revelation is met with so much fervor as on account of Dr. Beam's ongoing uncovering of a castle. Clearly, many individuals had serious misgivings of this find at first, however parts are persuaded now. Back in 2021, Dr. Beam and his partners of the Gerson Project started to use remote detecting innovation at the archaeological site. The focal point of their consideration was a piece of an area called Tablet Slope. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.